In this series of videos, we are putting together an XSD file which validates an XML file. We're building them both simultaneously and according to our document here, uh, which is our plant definition document. So in, in this video, we are going to take a look at sun tolerance and bloom color because they have an enumeration. An, an enumeration is when we provide a predefined set of acceptable values that can be used in XML. So let's, let's jump in and do it. This is our XML document and our XSD document. And so right after edible, right after edible, we have our two new elements, which are sun tolerance and bloom color. So XS, sorry, XS colon element name equals, uh, of course, I already forgot, uh, sun underscore tolerance, sun underscore tolerance, Okay, and we'll say type. The type is, is still string, no difference there. So type equal, actually, you know what? Um, we need to do this with a restriction on second thought. So I'm not gonna put the type here. I'm just going to do like so, open and close element. Then within the open and close element, I'll say xs colon simple type. It's still a simple type, which means it can contain only text, not other elements. But we do have to do this in kind of a long-winded manner uh, because of how we're doing the enumeration. So xs colon restriction. Okay, restriction. Hopefully I spelled that right. And then we'll say base. Remember what base means. Base means let's start with this type, xs string in my case, and let's enhance it by adding some additional validation. So right now, sun tolerance, XS string. Let's just make sure we're good at the moment. So I will say, I'll add a new moment, uh, a new uh, element, sun tolerance. Okay, and we'll say full sun. I'm not going to put an underscore in there just yet. Uh, we'll just leave it like so. Uh, I will go back and we will validate. Okay, validate's fine because I've added this element called sun tolerance. And at this point, I've only said it's a string. I have not put forth an enumeration. So let's go ahead and do the enumeration. That will be xs colon enumeration. Okay, and then we'll say value equals. We'll need one of these lines for each of the different acceptable values. So I'm just gonna kind of template this out and duplicate it about four times. Go back to my document and I see full sun, part shade, part sun, part shade, full shade, each of these separated by an underscore. So excess enumeration, full, underscore sun, okay, part, underscore sun, okay, part, underscore shade, and then finally, full, underscore shade. So what we're saying is for this thing called sun tolerance, these are the acceptable values. Now I go back to my XML and I'm anticipating that this will not validate properly. It will fail validation because I do not have an underscore between full and sun. So let's go ahead and double check. Uh, sure enough, the value full sun is not an element of the set full sun, part sun, part shade, full shade. So sure enough, it failed validation and it told me why. And here again, this is a nice thing about XSD is that XSD uh, allows us to get some information on why a failure happened. Not just the fact that a failure happened, but it tells us what went wrong. So let's fix it. Let's make it compliant with full underscore sun and then XML tools validate now. And we see now that it is an exact match the text here is an exact match with one of our enumeration values on the XSD. Now it passes validation. So we've done this with sun tolerance. We need to do it with bloom color as well. With bloom color, we have a series of colors. Um, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go ahead and do the enumeration there just because it's very similar to what I've already done, which is quite a bit of typing that you might not care to see again. So just a moment, let's watch. Voila, with the magic of a pause button, you see we now have an excess element called bloom color and we have red, orange, yellow, blue, violet, and white as acceptable colors. So let's go ahead and once again, oh, 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 did I make it optional? Uh, ooh, look at that, I caught myself this time. So excess element, um, 
So we'll do uh, min occurs. You know what? And I don't have min occurs on sun tolerance either, do I? Let's go ahead and make that min occurs zero. Let's make uh, bloom color min occurs zero. So indicate that both of these are optional. Uh, quick gut check, make sure that I didn't do anything wrong. Validation is still good. Okay, so with that, we can take bloom color, copy this, and let's go ahead and make an XML element out of it. So bloom color, blue. By the way, very few flowers actually bloom in blue. And the reason is that the bloom color uh, is assigned to the pollinator. It tells which pollinator to come pollinate the plant. It just so happens there are no or very few pollinators who can see the color blue. So validate now. XML schema is valid. Now what if I put in purple? Okay, put in purple. And once again, XML tools and validate now. It fails validation because purple is not in the set. Red, orange, yellow, blue, violet, white. Aha, uh -huh, should be violet. Violet, okay, um, <laughs> spelled properly, violet. Okay, and save, and one more validation, let's see. And we're good. So that wraps up enumeration, and you see that we've, we've now covered quite a bit of the rules that we have specified here for a plant. The next thing that we wanna take a look at is a repeating group of specimens. Uh, so we'll consider some different ways to make this work for us. So we'll take a look at that in the next video. I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you.